Earnings and sales dominate market moves on this Wednesday. Hello and welcome to the Daily FX European Market Report. I'm Jeremy Naylor. Let's look first of all at where the European equity markets are trading. London down half of 1%. We're off the lows at the moment. The German 30 cash has been up, but now down a tenth of 1%. But France holding on to some of the gains that we've seen across the European markets in the session today. Well, the gains that have been seen are in part powered by solid auto sector sales and an improving corporate picture for EU-based companies. But investors are keeping a cautious eye on global geopolitical risks and electoral developments in and around the region. Britain's FTSE 100 underperforming on weaker basic materials and energy stocks and a 6% slump for the luxury goods maker uh, Burberry. Gains in London also held down by the two-day advance for the pound which has risen more than 2.5% against a weaker US dollar. Sterling at the moment uh, keeping um, a cap on where the markets are moving on the FTSE 100. Currently trading at uh, 71.27. We're just below, uh, just above this line, I should say here, which is uh, technically a good line of support at 71.11. And if we see a daily close below this, where it's been support before back on the 1st of February and resistance all the way back on the 10th of October, that's why this line is significant. If we get a daily closed below that, that then could change the entire sentiment for the London markets. But let's take a look in some more details now about some of the stocks gaining across Europe. European automakers were the standout stocks in early trade in Europe. However, after stronger than expected sales data and increasing positive signals from key markets in China, uh, that uh, message is positive for the almost the entire sector. Car registrations for the month of March jumped more than 11% from last year, according to figures from the European Automobile Manufacturers Association, taking the first quarter total to four and a quarter million units. Gains seen for the likes of Renault, BMW, Volkswagen and Peugeot Citroën, but also outside of Europe. Gains as well for the likes of Toyota and uh, also other car makers such as uh, Chrysler, Fiat as well, benefiting. Meanwhile, shares and luxury uh, fashion brand Burberry falling in London today as much as 7%, despite what it called an exceptional performance in the UK. The company has previously said the weak pound had attracted overseas shoppers to its uh, British stores. Burberry Group uh, down today. And in fact, you can see a big gap opening up here on the right-hand side of the chart, just about uh, where we are. Uh, I've drawn this uh, line here. Uh, unlike the FTSE, which has held above the recent support, uh, the uh, technical Technicals here on Burberry uh, look a little bit more fragile. The stock is currently down just shy of 6%. It's a green candle because we're off the lows at the moment, but we are below this line of previous uh, support, uh, which is the uh, £16 line, uh, trading uh, just below that at the moment. And uh, if we get a close below that, which is looking increasingly likely with about 90 minutes of the session to go, uh, that could uh, well see further negativity technically for the stock of Burberry. Burberry is best known for its trench coats and distinctive checks. It said that like-for-like -like retail sales rose by 3% in the second half of the year. However, growth slowed in the final three months and sales fell in what it says was the highly promotional uh, US market. Meanwhile, Food to Fashion Group, Associated British Foods reported a 35% jump in its first half pre-tax profits, driven by a recovery at its sugar businesses and continued growth at its Primark chain. Revenues uh, overall rising 19% to 7.3 billion. ABF has a considerable exposure to overseas markets and has benefited on the whole uh, from the drop in sterling that's been seen since the referendum vote last June. However, it did say, though, that this is a downside, too, as the company was importing higher costs of its raw materials. However, it added the outlook for full year profits had overall improved. Uh, one look at the uh, stock chart today, and you can see that uh, the uh, uh, stock price is off the highs today. It rose on a gap on the initial uh, opening of trade today, a slight pullback at the moment. The stock is still up three quarters of 1% on from the close on uh, Tuesday trade, uh, but it is trading above uh, this uh, level here, which had previously been the point of resistance at 27.38. ABF overall doing well today, but off the highs. That's a look at some of the major headlines. Let's take a look ahead now. Unilever reports first quarter earnings tomorrow for a quarter when the company received and successfully rebuffed a bid from US food giant Kraft. British American Tobacco also comes through with an update for investors with a first quarter trading report. And on the continent, watch first quarter earnings from Nestle, ad giant Publicis and Pernod Ricard, the spirits company. That's it for this European Roundup on this Wednesday. I'll be back tomorrow, but in the meantime, I'll leave you with another look at the European markets with around 90 minutes of the trading day to go.